All right, we are back. So last time we made our way uh, through the cave system and ended up getting another party member. Also got a new summon. Uh, where we ended up in this new area. So let's kind of take a look around a little bit. See what we got going on here. Oh, you stopped me. Curious what I'm up to? Yes. I'm trying to stir up some alchemy. But I guess it's harder than making soup. I would assume so. Um, anything of note in these? Well, we did get a Kirin water, so we got something. Well, just a little something, but hey. It's some uh, synergy replenishment, which is something that you don't get a lot of. Well, unless you buy it. Um, this area doesn't have a whole lot going for it currently. As you can see, uh, there's some water that's going to be needed here. Uh, we don't really have access to getting in otherwise, so we'll have to wait for that. Uh, let's see. That's cool to the touch. Some graves. So there's some. What was this one again? Or what was this one? Fortunes told, futures found. Enter to find out your fate. I forget what the whole thing about this one is. Namu speaks the truth. Her crystal ball always shows the distant future. Uh, this fortune teller peers into the distant future by casting and uh, well, gazing into her crystal ball. Her and her partner Nemu, Namu and Nemu, I guess, provide their psychic talents to the city of Harappa. Some say it's just an act, but I'm buying it. I am Nemu. I can gaze upon your near future. For five coins, I will tell you. All right, probes the near future by looking into the calm waters of her golden bowl. Ah, newcomers, allow me. Your first reading is free. A rabid beast, endless darkness. What a fearful future I see. Oh, is it the end of the ancient world, or the beginning of the end of ours? Well, she hit her head on the table, so she's got a concussion. <laughs> Cursed warriors, I cannot bear to look upon you. Please, leave our tent. All right, well. Yeah, we'll put five in there. Are you going to do the same? I see a labyrinth caught in the coils of a snake. You shall not enter, be able to enter its true depths. Not until you possess the power to reveal the, to see the real way inside. The bearer of this power has hidden themselves below the roots of an ancient tree. Two vicious generals will bar your way to this tree, and that is all I see. Okay. So basically, hey, if you're not sure what to do next, that's their way of telling you. Okay. I guess visiting the city wasn't all that eh, all that bad. So Reef, where to next? Up and over Kieran Mountains. Craig and I once tried to look go over the peaks, but we couldn't make the crossing. What? But I thought... It, there was a way through. We need to go north to Belinsk. Crayden knew of a way. We just weren't able to take it. Blotto said he knew of a way over the mountains, one that would be treacherous. Uh, we'll likely find the answer in the mountain town of Passage. Oh, this mountain town is home to certain craftsmen. 
atop the remote peak, Passage is said to have gotten its name because, or what? Because it is or was a passage of some sort. So we can cross over in this Passage place? And eh, most likely, for the path to Passage is the only way up the mountain range. Once we're there, surely we'll find the answer how to go down the other side to Belinsk. I'm sure that we'll figure this out with your help, Reef. Now, let's head up the mountains. Alright. We'll be back. Um, I don't really remember if there's a Jin in this area. Um. Oh, there's some ghosts. I forgot the way they looked. Okay, alright. We got that. Uh, flare wall, and I guess we'll just do another douse here. Doing a little bit of damage, not a lot. All right. Let's see. Oh, nothing there. All right. <laughs> We're free, I guess, to move about the rest of the area without too much of a fuss. Actually, I know I bought some weapons, and honestly, yep, we, we need to start mastering those. At least that's how I see it. The rolling attack. Uh, not really going to be too crazy there. Um, got power charge. Okay, so the biggest thing here is just being able to, I guess, n we're going to be doing a lot of these fights. Golly. And that's the thing. Some of these are just going to be a lot. Oh, got heat wave. All right. So it's not completely useless because we get experience and money. Uh, but that that's one of the biggest things for us right now is just uh, we're going to be probably doing a lot of these fights by using just the weapon so they can get mastered. Because believe it or not, it's actually better off to actually have the weapons mastered and you, even though you may not use it all that often so um well yes we could go north we're not going to at the moment we might be doing a little bit of just world exploring at the moment also golly these harpies are real nasty Get some healing. They are dropping a good bit of experience, though, so I'm not going to complain there. I guess I could actually check to see, because I haven't seen anything about it. So, I'm assuming they might actually be done. Um, yeah, let's check and see if they've mastered it at this point. I haven't seen the thing kind of ping off yet. Okay, you've got yours... Not quite. Uh, you've got it. And you almost. Okay. Good to know. But there is a city down here. 
that we can actually get some stuff done in. Uh, so we'll do Spire, you'll attack. We'll show off Heat Wave. And okay, got that. But Heat Wave! <laughs> Basically, like a, a flame, like a. I guess I'm, I'm not even thinking of what it, it, the actual name of that move is. Oh my gosh. But it's an energy beam. <laughs> That's pretty much all it is. All right. We got the mastery of the witch's wand. All right. She got sleep. And he got drench. Okay. Not terrible. Uh... Oh, yeah, we can't do this yet. So, yeah, if you try to go over here, we're busy taking over this place. We can't let you pass unless you have business here. So visit Calcho if you want to get into the army business. King Woes, the man with the master plan. Calcho is a powerful nation founded by King Wo, who wages war against Passage in Arathway. A from its rich palace. Uh, he's the military-minded ruler who founded the new country of Calcho in the name of his home empire, Sana. He spends his day plotting how to take over more of EJ and has mysteriously built his palace upon ancient ruins. Okay. Ah! Don't surprise me like that! You don't belong in Arthway. Not here. Not now. This country is well known for its beautiful stonework. Uh, its towers, walls, and courtyards are all the envy are the envy of all of you. Most soldiers are calcio farmers since real warriors are pretty rare. So I'm glad we haven't battled yet. Maybe more orders will arrive soon, but hopefully not. You can see there's a chest at the bottom there. Nothing. Got nothing. But we do find an antidote. Okay. Are you from Arthway? No. That don't surprise me. When the army arrived, no one from Marathway was here, as if a magician made them all vanish. Maybe more orders will arrive soon and give us something to do. Alright, uh, over here. Got nothing. If you've come to enjoy a good war, you're going to be disappointed. The Arthway are nowhere to be found. So we're just standing around waiting for additional orders. Got a herb. And that's it. All right. Well, <laughs> well, that's it. We're done. We ain't doing nothing else. But yeah, we can't do anything here at the moment. But we got some hobgoblins to deal with. So let's deal with them. All right, have drench. Get that healing. Decent amount of damage there. Well, we got rid of that. <laughs> no one's going to withstand the power of a heat wave. Except the many others who did before, but hey, we're not counting that. Oh, yes, he's got Ragnarok. Uh, I don't remember if there was a thing in this. I thought there was. All right, Ragnarok. 
It's basically his version of Heat Wave. So we're gonna take care of these guys. But it does look way cooler. I still like it in the original games, though. Uh, the original game, well, the first two. I again, I, while visually impressive, they don't feel like they carry as much weight, which is sad. Because oh man, it, they could have done so much with it, and they just haven't. Hey, well, they didn't. Because it's like, oh, it's magic. It's not going to feel weighty. Y yes, you can actually do that, people. It's just like, oh my goodness. Well, how did they mess that up? <clears throat> I mean, this is probably the best one to feel like it might have some weight behind it. But they failed. They really failed at it. All right. Is there... I was checking down here for a gen. But it looks like that's not going to be the case here. It's unfortunate. Stun voltage. Nice. All right. Tyrell got to level up. Um, at this point, you kind of just have to <laughs> roll with it. Oh, boy. Nope. I don't know if that came... <laughs> I accidentally hit my mic stand. I hope that didn't come through, but if it did, I'm sorry. Try moving it so it doesn't actually get hit again. All right. Unfortunately, we don't have a void. Um, yeah, we don't have a void yet, so uh, you can't just say, no, I don't want to have random encounters. <laughs> At least not yet. You can just do that. If you just was like, I don't really feel like doing this fight. Um, is there anything in this area? I don't really know if there is or not. Well, there you go, that's rolling attack. Um, and here I thought, because it was a little bit of a divergent path that there might actually be something there, but it doesn't seem like it. Which is unfortunate. <sighs> and that's the thing it, with with this game is you you have to find the <laughs> just out of the way places to get the. Uh, to get the gen. All right, she got a level, he got a level. Also got restore, that's not bad. Um. Okay, no, I cannot get there from there. All right. Good to know. Uh, but this is Calcho. 
the place we've been there. But also, you'll notice there's a little, a little friendly guy there. And unfortunately, this individual is blocking our way to get him. Sorry, I'm just not... I'm just feeling too tired to do much of anything else except look at fish. Oh my goodness. There's also this guy. Um, I don't think... Oh, wait a minute. I know how to do it. I know how to get there. Oh, man. So this is teaching you, hey, you can hop on lily pads if you want to do this. But come over here, you get a sun on dress. Uh, this is going to be something only females can wear. So Karis is the only one that can wear this. And as you can see, it actually does a decent amount of increase in her defense. So we'll have her equip that. And this one will get an elixir. All right. Nothing there. Just an empty pot. That's an empty pot. Well-worn furniture. I saw my dad trying to get a handle on using weapons, but he couldn't hurt a fly. I haven't seen my dad in a while. He's a farmer that got roped into marching on Arthway. He, but he can barely handle a sword. But you should see he, what he can do with a plow. A gentle soul makes for a loving husband. That's the secret to our happy home. Well, hopefully I can get him out of the situation he's gotten himself into. Or maybe it was involuntary. Probably was involuntary, to be completely honest. All right, well, we can go this way. And back here, we find that there's more, at least somewhat, more stuff that could possibly be done. But the only thing we can do is just nothing but stare. We can't extinguish that but you can tell that there is something you can do with this so this is something we'll have to come back to um i believe we need a certain uh a, i know the ability we need but i forget exactly when we get it When the Emperor of Sana passed away, King Wo marched back to our homeland and tried to seize command. Uh, this country makes up the eastern part of Ije region. Uh, it used to be a fearsome and aggressive colonial power. He failed to take it from Emperor Unan, and oh, how Emperor Ko must be looking down upon King Wo with disappointment. Uh, and... Uh, Uan is a wise and educated monarch. He rules Sana from the capital of Tofan. He succeeded uh, the warlike Emperor Ko after a bloody civil war, uniting and bringing peace to his war-torn country. Emperor Ko is a warmongering tyrant who was once Emperor of Sana, known as the Dread Emperor for his aggressive expansionism. On his death... The Civil War of Sana eventually crowned Unan the, as the new emperor, bringing a much-needed peace to the region. Nothing there. Everything kept tidy. What about you? Kao Cho was forged in war. Most of our people uh, have left our homeland Sana to come here to fight as soldiers. But... Many people miss life in Sana. Oh, nope. Nothing in there. King Wo was one of the two men who, in line to become emperor of our Sanan homeland. After Emperor Ko expired, Wo expected to take over his war empire, but Unan took over a scholar of all people. Or... Wait, was that the guy? Oh, my bad. 
I couldn't tell. It, the, the, the man bun made him look like a woman. Ugh. I can't understand King Wo failing to take over the Empire. How could he lose to a measly scholar like Unan? Well, maybe he... Maybe it's the peace through strength aspect, woman. Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> Jeez. Um, tea house, which is closed. Okay. Oh, we got some. We got a smoke bomb. <laughs> oh dear! Would you please take a gift to my grandchild and son? Sure. Okay, here's the gift, and I've tuckered a letter inside of it. Uh, for my... Whoa! What, what was that? <laughs> for my grandchild. I have complete faith in you, my dear. We gave uh, the grandmother's gift to the Karis, so... Alright, what were you doing tweaking in the back over there? He's back. King Wo and Emperor Unan of Sana, our original homeland, were at each other's throats. That's when tragedy struck our colonies in Mughal, which is in the northern half of the continent, if you didn't know. Well, the Emperor was too busy dealing with King Wo, so he didn't have time to put down a revolution that flared up in Mughal. Any Sanas really living in the Mughal region had to run for their lives. That's how the Empire lost control of Mughal. Alright, the Sanan people have spread their home throughout their homeland. <laughs> spread from their homeland and which is Sana throughout the throughout much of Angar, including Kalcho and Morgan. Oh my goodness. Why is it worded this way? This is so bad. <laughs> Their homeland has been both the aggressor and peacekeeper through the history of Angara. What? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess I got my five coins back, but... <laughs> oh, I, I took it... Oh. Why can't I put that back? You know what? I'll spend those five coins here. <laughs> All right. Um, before I do that, do you? Yes, you do. Okay. Magic rat's not going to do anything, but the blessed Ankh will. All right. Ooh, we got better shields. Oh. Alright, hold on. I need to sell something to Matthews. Uh... Actually, hold on. I can change this. Alright, Matthew, you're going to hand over the Psy Crystal to Reef. Uh, you're going to hand over the Antidote to Karis. Uh, you'll keep those. Uh, we'll hand this over to Tyrell. Sleep Bonds will hand over to Reef. Oil Drop will give to Reef. Uh, Psy Grenade will give to Reef. Uh, the Sun Saga, we'll just have Tyrell hold those. And... Well, I'll let you have that. Okay, well, we should be fine now. We should be fine. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't have a thousand. My bad. Uh... Just where it starts. I should have just sold that stuff. Why didn't I do that? Then 400. Alright. Um. I'll sell both the smoke bombs. 
Bramble seeds. Reef. Um, you can sell those. Uh, we can also sell a Psy Grenade. We're hardly ever going to run into anything that's going to be affected by that. All right. Um, man. <laughs> All right. We definitely need the more of more money here. <laughs> the shops here in Sana were once better than this one, but I think there's still great stuff in here. I mean, yeah, it had a lot of good stuff, unfortunately. <laughs> Spent most of my money buying that special weapon. King Wo doesn't want war. He wants peace, and he'll smash any country that disagrees. <laughs> King Wo wants adepts. He'll do anything to get his hands on warriors that can use synergy, but he can't find any. So, yeah, that's how we'll open up the way to get over there. Um, halt. Are you adepts? Um, I don't think I should tell you. I thought not. Get going. Show. <laughs> we won't do that yet. Um, hmm. Hold on. Can I? I say no, and then I'm going to be doing this. I can. Okay. We're going to grip onto this. <laughs> Just move on. <laughs> you don't see anything, <laughs> right? Uh, but we come down here and we can get this little guy. All right, we got Steel to join us. This love spirit is first found in Calcho. That face is so weird. Steel's attacks is a vitality stealing kiss that leaves the enemies wanting more. I... You know what? I never read that and I wish I did. <laughs> Golly. That's just disturbing. All right. Well, we got what we wanted. All right. We're, we're, we're going to be going north. Oh, goodness. The things you wish you never saw. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. I uh, just attack. And we'll have you use Fresh Breeze. Get some healing. Eh. Not too bad. Does a decent amount of damage. Unfortunately, not enough. There we go. We're going to need to do quite a few more fights before we can afford everything that we can in Calcho. But let's climb the Passage Mountain. Oh yeah, that's That's the quick way up and down This area Oh Come on <laughs> I don't like you giving me problems, game Oh, no Not what I meant to do I meant to use move And the reason for that is uh, we, we need a way to get up there, and unfortunately growth does not go that far. So getting the chest is going to be real nice. So I 
We find ourselves some leather boots. Okay, so this is a whole new armor piece. So it actually just gives us a straight boost of defense. Now, you can give it to other people as well. It doesn't matter who you give it to, but we are going to give it to Matthew. Uh, he hasn't gotten the spell really to mention. Uh, hey, he hasn't got the spell yet, but Matthew is going to be the only one of the only people that can use a revive spell or revive synergy. So he's going to be really needing that high defense so he can take all the hits. Also, there's a lot of moles here. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, yeah, it cures all temporary status elements, which is real nice. We get Earthquake going. Beam of pure plasma. Get you and Flare Wall. Nah, didn't quite get him. But that's fine. Critical Strike. I wish you would use Vorpal Slash, but alright. Quake Sphere. Okay. That's the best Quake ability. Only 175 for fighting five of them. Ladders being cut, it must have happened when Basage was attacked by Coucher Royals. Eh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, we are going to use this flower here, though. And that will allow us to get up. We're going to leave the old man up there. <laughs> well, down there. Alright, so. This is another dungeon. So... As you saw, we can push these little blocks, but they seem to be going up with this current. I think you do need all of them, so just go ahead and push them up there. As you can see, there's some more here. There's that. I don't remember. No, you can't do that. Okay, yeah, you can lift them with your uh, Whirlwind Synergy, and that's what we're going to have to be doing in this dungeon. All right, Wind Advisory, danger dangerous paths ahead, very high chance of a powerful gust, Boggy, Passage Safety Board. Uh, boggy, or Bag High, I, I don't know. <clears throat> this young man helps his grandfather, Bogo, look after the passage. He lost his parents at an early age and has since devoted himself to serving the people of Passage. Alright. Try to remember. I know you do need to do this. I don't know why you wouldn't just let me push it, but alright. And that's pretty much it for this part here. How unfortunate. And it just falls. All right. Nothing too crazy. But you do see that there's a Zhen over there. We're going to have to figure out how to get to him. Welcome to our Zoll Mine. We gather the, all the floating Zoll Stones that we can find. Zoll, this is a unique mineral, uh, also called Floating Stone. Uh, it floats on the air when touched by the wind. Then send them higher up drafts where Zoll floats in, on the wind, you know. The ancients used wind synergy or something to get the Zoll stones off the ground. Wish I could do that. Well, uh, we will do that. This place is the pits. The path back to town is often blocked by, eh, blocked off because some strong gusts of wind. 
Well, I guess we have to help them out. So, we can make our way out this way. And unlike the flowers, they don't disappear after being uh, stepped on. You can keep going back and forth until the the effect is off, uh, worn off. All right. This is something we can do here. But as you can tell, not really anything. You can't really go anywhere thanks to that. Well, we'll reset it. And make our way up. And there you go. Now that will always be up there, at least while we're in this room, uh, just because of the fact that, hey, the whirlwind is going to be keeping... Uh, it, the constant whirlwinds, I guess, will keep the, the box up. Or Zol. Oh, the blow mace. Oh, well. Hold on. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, we could do that. But as you can tell, while it has more attack, it lowers our attack if we equip it. Which makes very little sense. I think it's because we have the, uh, the rapier mastered. But we'll... we'll Oh, no. Yeah, because I'm getting an attack bonus of 103 with this. I think it's because you you master the weapon, if I remember correctly. But we are going to give this to Tyrell. That's why <laughs> I didn't want to feel like I wasted the money on that thing I bought Reef. Because he can also use it. All right. Uh, well, this guy's not too happy. Um, there's Quake Sphere. Plasma. Yeah, we'll do Sleep. He's going to cast Thorn. We'll do some pretty nasty damage with that. Alright. Well, we got that taken care of. And now we got another Venus gen. Kind of crazy. We got Bark. This is a brand new one. This tough spirit is first met in Passage Mountain and Climb. Bark's rough hide can protect all allies like a shield. So he does kind of the same thing that I believe Flash does. So uh, if you want to do that, you can definitely do that. Um, We'll put Flower on standby. That way we don't mess with her synergy. Alright. Yeah. We're going to have to go around this way. Alright, these are pretty nasty. Uh, we'll show what Bark does. And we'll have a few attacks. Try to deal with these enemies. Yeah, I have the shielding aura. Oh, yeah. 
So it basically it puts them all in defense, but they didn't have to take the defense action. So kind of nice. Um, I want to show off the level three. If I can. Well, that happened. Tyrell got a level up. Nice. We're gonna hop down here. We're gonna cast growth. Fall all the way down here. <laughs> you may be wondering, well, what's the point of this? Well, there's a cave here. And the cave... has something important for us to do in it. But as you can see... Uh, oh, we can't do it now, because we don't have the energy. Aw, oh, man! Well... We can get to it later. We can easily get back there. That's the other thing. It It's pretty simple. I don't... Kind of wondering if I'm going to run into a fight here. Well, there's you. Um... I think it's already... Alright. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. We've climbed all the way to uh, eh. we've climbed all the way to the mountain town of Passage. I can't wait to see it again. Now, follow me to the very spot that Craden believed was the only way to access uh, across the peaks. So we follow him. We're almost to the passage Craden believed that would lead across the Kirin Mountains. Come on, it's just up ahead. We can Come back to the explore the pass uh, explore passage later. And here we are. So this is the way across Kirin Mountains. What? We're so high in the clouds. Uh, but we're so high in the clouds that there's nowhere else to go. Nonetheless, this is the spot that Creighton believed was the key to crossing over. That's impossible. We're at the very top of this mountain. How can we go anywhere from here except back down? If we only had a sore wing with us. But there's a... Here, here's the crux of the matter. See that mountain across the sky? That's Craggy Peak. Creighton says that's the ancient ancestors of us adepts. It says that's that the ancient ancestors of us adepts lived there. They were known as the Genae, or Genae, or I don't know how that's pronounced, to be completely frank. Our ancestors lived there um, in many other places across Wayard. In ancient times, those who could use synergy were known as the Genae. Or I guess Genae. Uh, with their powers and understanding of alchemy, the Genae created a great civilization which all faded when alchemy proved too dangerous for the ancient world. The Genae lived on the peak were known as the Neox, and they looked over this part of the world. Uh, while Genae ruled civilization with their powers, those who lived on what is now called Craggy Peak were called Neox. Neox worked with the Exothi <laughs> to create alchemy machines, but when alchemy vanished from this world, so did the Neox. Did Creighton think that the Neox used their powers to travel between here and there? Exactly. 
He thinks that they could create some sort of sky passage between the peaks. The Neox Jedi worked with the ancient people of Passage to create a machine that can manipulate the clouds. Creighton said that such machines were based on alchemy principles. And the one in Passage is called the Alchemy Forge. The Alchemy Forge is an ancient machine that was built by the Neox and is powered by the element of fire. It is thought to create wondrous things. Well, show us the way to this machine, then. It's not that simple. Creighton, Creighton couldn't figure out how to get Passage's Alchemy Forge running. But Creighton is a genius. How can we succeed when he couldn't? We have to figure it out. There's no other way to reach Belinsk and catch up with Creighton. Not to mention it getting it, not to mention getting to Morgul to find that feather. If only we hadn't run into those fiends in the cave. Hey, Blados had a direct hand in forcing us into the south part of Angara. But why was is that Max man tagging along with him? You know the guy that wanted to know if we had the glyph book? He was eager to send us to the south to find you, Reef, not Craden. From what I could gather, it seemed that Craden suspected his true identity. I got the feeling that they knew each other pretty well. That would explain why Craden was so willing to part ways. Well, I can't imagine that they'd be friends, but old allies, perhaps? If they weren't trying to hit it, who it was? Oh my goodness. I'm trying to beat you over the head with it. I trust Craden, but I can't trust anything about that masked man or Blados. I don't get why or, or how this helps us get across the sky. You now, if only we did have the Sorwing. Sor Too bad ours is broken. Of course, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that. Then we all have it is an ancient legend about a machine that can make cloud passage. I wish I had pried more details from Craden when we were last here. No use in fretting about it now. Eh, not really. I guess we'll just have to investigate ourselves. That's why we will... Eh, that's... That's the only way we'll get to that peak. So, uh, we've got nothing but a dusty Jedi legend to go on? That's all. Just the Jedi in the Fable Passage to Craggy Peak. Uh, what do you view? Uh, what, you have another thought, Reef? There was one more reason Crane gave up on getting to that peak. He said that we didn't have a wide enough variety of synergy to start the Alchemy Forge. Variety? What kind of synergy did he think you needed? I don't know. Well, who else came here with you in Creighton? Just my sister, Noelle, and we're both water adepts. Then maybe we have a chance because we cover all types of elemental energy. You might be right. And let's find that alchemy forge reef. I'm sure we'll create a, that cloud passage, Craggy Peak, in no time. Too Craggy Peak, anyway. I didn't notice it before. Things feel a little different from when I was last here. This place is brimming with synergy power now. Can't you feel it? I'm certain it wasn't like this before. Changes in the wind. The key to all of this is in Passage. And let's head back to town, then. I'm sure we'll uncover the secret there. Alright. And guess what? We got <laughs> we got another place to actually purchase stuff from. Uh, if we head in here to look at what we have available to us... Well... We can't. Here's the reason there's a town on all the way up here. Because metal liquefies more e easily at this altitude. Take it from an old metal worker like me. Discover it for yourself. And you'll notice that this place has 
Well, I didn't mean to push that. All right, well, we're going to have to push this over here. These little stones here, uh, they actually have quite the... Uh, little hey they have the lines on them that basically say hey i go over here <laughs> so uh it's pretty simple really um uh, nothing too crazed and right, we can move that Oh, because of the lines in the ground. Okay, I see. That's fine. That'll be for later, though. Alright. Let's talk to you. If only we get the Alchemy Forge working properly. My hammer is begging for some action. Well, you've got that going. Hello. I got some items for you. Oh, a potion and a water of life. Uh, potion's a full restore to your HP. It's only for a single person. And we've got the revive. So, let's go to the alchemy forge here. This machine. Oh, this is the machine. What's all this? So this is the ancient machine reef? Indeed it is. Well, tell us everything. Don't keep us waiting. This is the alchemy forge. It doesn't look like any kind of forge I've seen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Forges are normally used to make weapons, and this one creates a cloud passage to Craggy Peak, huh? The Alchemy Forge doesn't look like it works anymore. Perhaps it's broken? Hey Tyrell, throw a fireball at this spot marked with a flame. I can't stand it when Karis bosses me around. Just fire it up! So that's the secret. It's not just broke. It's not broken, just disconnected. So you think we can get it running again? I don't know. It's awfully big. Maybe you're onto something, Karis. So what do you think, Mac hey, Matthew? Can we get the Alchemy Forge started? Oh yeah. I completely agree. This chamber is crammed with parts that we can manipulate. Right then, so where do we start, Hotshot? Are those blocks the secret to reconnecting the forge, Karis? She gets like this. Just watch. I am watching, but I don't understand what she's doing. The lines of the power are broken. First, let's reconnect them throughout the chamber. Then we should fire up the forge again and see if the alchemy forge powers up. Uh, yeah, what she said. We'll have this alchemy forge up and running in no time. So let's reconnect all the power lines, then throw another fireball, okay? Okay, she doesn't really explain to you how to do this, but if you've noticed, um, oh, wait, I'm forgetting how to do this. Yay. No, it wasn't that. Um... Oh, I know. 
so I completely forgot. <laughs> you just have to do this. Oh my goodness. It's a little tedious, but there you go. That's how you do that. And <laughs> and with this one, you do have to move this pillar, but you're good. I, it's honestly not that difficult. And come back here and then throw a fireball, like she said. Who was tampered with the Alchemy Forge? Who are you intruders? Tell me at once. If you're with those terrible soldiers. Don't bother trying to strong on me or my people. No, well, we're not doing that. I may look old, but I'm a descendant of the ancients. Passage will never cave to you outsiders. We, descendants of the Exali, will bend together. So speak with my... Speak with the Arthur King, but not yours. Or I'll, sp I'll speak with him, but not yours. Uh, the ancient people gained respect of the world, even the Genii. The... Uh, with their great craftsmanship. Though the Exali had no synergy, their skill made them partners with the Genii, creating things that used elemental power. Excuse me, sir, but we're not who you think we are, though you and I have met before. Oh my gosh, why was that thing having a seizure? What are you looking at, Gramps? Gramps! I am the Elder of Passage. Call me that or by my name, Boko. Anything else is disrespectful. The Elder of Passage, just like all the descendants of the Ixthali, is a blacksmith of great craftsmanship. He is stubborn and short-tempered, but devoted to protecting his people, especially against incursions from Calcho. Now, who is it that lit this fire? Was it you? One of you must be able to wield synergy. All of us can. We're adepts. Are you now? The adepts are descendants of Jedi, who reigned over the ancient world. I've heard the legends of the Jedi, even the Neox of the nearby craggy peak. I have also heard the Ixthali, who were your ancestors of legend, right? How did you come to know all this? I'm a student of alchemy. I once visited here with the scholar named Creighton. Creighton, you say? Is Creighton with you now? No, I'm sorry to say that he's not. What a shame. He was an interesting old fellow. We parted a ways too soon. Creighton couldn't figure out how to restart your forge, but we adepts have. You certainly have got the fires roaring again. Hmm. Hmm. The fires are blazing. Yeah, there's some graphical glitches happening. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Though the Alchemy Forge has been relit, this writing says we need a critical part to control it. What does it say? What? It couldn't be clearer. It says what it says. You'll have to forgive our ignorance. 
It simply looks like a curious design to us. It all means something? My, my, for adepts, it seems you know less than I expected. Than I expect. What's that? Ah! Soul Mask. That's what it says. Soul Mask? This ancient relic is said to be related to the Alchemy Forge in some way. Anything else, Gramps? You got all the answers. Don't call me Gramps! It says that the machine can only be used once in the Soul Mask. Uh, once the Soul Mask has entered here. And that is the mask. And that this mask is in the ancient Ouroboros Labyrinth. This labyrinth is said to be quite serpentine. Who would have thought? <laughs> Ensnaring those who dare enter its twists and turns. Hmm. It seems that will be a problem, given that Ouroboros is below Calcho's pal the Calcho Palace. But are you sure we need that mask? The forge already looks ready to go. Yeah. Yes, I bet you're right. The ancients probably wanted to ensure that only the right people used it. I'm certain that's why we need the mask. I only wish it were here. Bogo, what exactly is the soul mask? You seem to have heard of the Neox on the distant craggy peak who watched over this part of Angara. The Neox were... Or Jedi who helped build Harappa, Arthway, and I guess the Ouroboros? Yes, and Passage. Oh, so few alive today know the secrets of those ancient times. I am one of them, and I rarely share secrets with outsiders, but since you know Creighton, I'll tell you more. I know of an old prophecy about what will happen if alchemy was r restored to the world. The Neox predicted that adepts would come to restore our fallen civilization to its former glory. I have long hoped that such a thing would come to pass, for life here gets harder year eh, by the year. Those of us in the southern part of Angara owe oh, what little we have to the ancient Neox. We live in our meager lives amid the broken pieces of their long-dead civilization. Now oh, we're a bit confused by this. Those people who lived on Craggy Peak really made that much stuff, huh? It's hard to imagine that the Neox could have done so much, yet so little is known of them. These Neox sound fascinating. The Jedi all over the way or took their secrets with them. I know nothing of the Jedi elsewhere, only of the Neox who guided the fate of our region from that peak. When the ancient Jedi faded into history, so too did the Neox. I'm sure Creighton has told you that the ancients cut off the world's connection to alchemy. Our parents told us that powerful synergy was too tempting for the ancient people of Wayard. So they placed devices across the world to seal it up. As we know now, stopping the flow of synergy has terrible consequences. Synergy is what sustains the world. Without it, everything begins to decay. Our parents were the ones who saved the world, the warriors of Vale. Those were your parents? Crane told me all about the quest that saved the world with the Golden Sun. Crane does like to talk about it, doesn't he? He's quite proud of the role he played. A noble soul, that Creighton, and you are the children of the Warriors of Vale. Remarkable. How does this all re- Oh, I thought that was him. How does this all relate to the soul mask? Sorry. 
hit my mic again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you think I could actually make sure that it doesn't get in the way, but it keeps getting in the way. Ah, yes. The Neox created the Alchemy Forge just for, crass, uh, just for the craftsmen of Passage. But synergy was needed to keep the forge running. So when the Neox vanished, Passage couldn't use the Alchemy Forge anymore. What a clever young man you are. Without synergy, our forge stopped and Passage began its long, slow decline throughout the ages. When the Golden Sun emerged 30 years ago, we thought our forge might restart, but it didn't. I guess we simply needed the right adepts to come along, but it's not yet at its full strength, it seems. To get the Alchemy Forge fully functional, we don't need any more fires, that's for certain. We need the Soul Mask, don't we? Right, and as you can see, that's exactly what we still need. But why would the Neox require a mask to operate the machine? If I had to guess, it was to ensure that only their allies could get the, to the Neox city on Craggy Peak. And speaking of allies and enemies, Soul Mask is perilously close to our enemy, King Wo of Kaucho. The Ouroboros is under a distant Calcho palace from which the King Wo was waging war on Passage. Calcho was sent, has sent waves of soldiers in con to conquer Passage. We fended off their attacks. Do you think Calcho soldiers are trying to get their hands on the Alchemy Forge? I mean, it's possible. The very notion saddens me as well. What terrible thing it would be. But how could they do anything with it? What do you mean? Well, we adepts could only start it up, and even now we still need the soul mask to actually use it. You know, that mask seems to be just as important to us as the people of Passage. So it's twice as important to find the soul mask. Crane did think this machine was very important. It does seem that Bogo and his people have fallen upon hard times without their forge. We cannot ask you to enter the Ouroboros for us. No, it's too far dangerous. Far too dangerous. What's inside the Ouroboros? A fiendish labyrinth. It's twisting, turning, coils have ensnared all who dare to enter. Gramps, that's some crazy story. Stop calling me that! Nevertheless, it's all true. The Ouroboros is a maze filled with riches. Many treasure hunters have ventured inside. I forgot this long cutscene was a thing. But none have ever returned. Not one in all these years. Have any adepts ever tried? Elder? I don't believe so. Perhaps you could succeed. We of Passage could never thank you enough if you were able to restore the alchemy forge fully. And we wouldn't... And wouldn't the King of Arthway be fascinated? The King of Arthway? Ayuthway? I don't know how to pronounce that. Golly. King Pythos! As the ruler of Arthway uh, is known as King Pythos, he presided over a new era of prosperity brought by restarting the Arthway alchemy well. The people of Arthway are descendants of the Exthali and have their known ancient their own ancient machine. Arthway has another one of these machines? 
Theirs is called the Alchemy Well. It's the ancient machine that was built by the Neox to produce water in vast quantities. Arthway's machine started working suddenly about 20 years ago. Arthway's grown uh, growth has been explosive since then. I've been somewhat jealous. So my heart... It's desire to see our own alchemy forge at its full strength again. Where are you hurrying off to all of a sudden? Before you leave Passage, you must learn more at our meeting hall. We have an ancient secrets to share. Come outside, then climb the stairs to on the side to reach it. I'll wait you wait, wait for you in the hall. Oh my have quite uh, a craziness happening. And as you can see, it's activated at least inside, but not completely. We can't do anything here until we fully have it activated. So we'll, we'll try to help them out. And uh, we kind of somewhat looked at... Okay, I was like, is that seriously just blocked off? Um. Oh. Is this going to be something I can do? Oh, yeah. Just make this quick and easy. Grab that. And we have some quality Zol. So, maybe weird. It's like, okay, what? <laughs> we got Zol. Okay, fine. We're, we're, we've been in a, a cave with it. What's the difference? The quality Zol is actually a craftable item. Well, craftable. You can take this and forge it into something else. Uh, it's either going to be a weapon or armor. It's random. You don't get to choose. But, there's several things you can make out of it, and it's actually not that bad. Down here, we've got a few people kind of hanging out. I looked uh, for the cloud road that was once said to exist. What a waste of my time, there's nothing up there. And here you go. If you want to just go back to the bottom of the mountain, this is how you do it. We're going to be using that later when we go to leave uh, to go to Ouroboros, but we'll have that available to us later. And we'll, we'll do that in the next one. This is where we store the floating rocks. We float... The Zul stones up here from the mine below. One of our Zul miners once stepped off the edge of the platform, uh, uh, stepped off of the platform above Passage. We heard that the old stories about the cloud passage that went uh, to Craggy Peep. Pretty dumb idea. That was the last we ever heard of him. Then there's th that other old story about some kind of man beasts who live across the clouds sounds ridiculous if you ask me uh, feeling is not hogwash like you think it is just just saying the elders are angry that Calcho recently tried to take over passage does Calcho really want our alchemy forge or something well maybe maybe um, trying to see if there's anything significant to do down here because I don't want to not do it and then forget it. Hmm. Well, oh, we got some power bread. Okay. That's a good item. 
Uh, power bread increases... Oh, there we go. Uh, it increases your maximum HP. And I'm going to give that to Matthew. Uh, empty. All right. I'm going to sit there and read all of that. Because, honestly, we've done enough dialogue at this point. I'm just seeing if there's anything special that I want to highlight. Not really. Um, all right, well, that's going to be it for this episode. Next time we're going to learn, well, talk to the guy about all the different secrets that he's wanting to talk to us about and probably go into Arth way to get the mask or at least go to where Ouroboros is and get the mask. So that'll be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.